Greetings, I'm Roy, a software developer with Layer 7 Technologies. This video will demonstrate AMQP integration in the Layer 7 gateway. AMQP is the Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, providing flow-controlled communication with at most once, at least once, and exactly once message reliability guarantees with support for authentication and encryption. AMQP is an open standard with server and client implementations by multiple vendors. It is a wire level protocol making it consistent across different implementations. It features message queues and two message routing methods, point to point and publish and subscribe. The Layer 7 Secure Span Gateway can create AMQP messages from various sources and send these messages to AMQP exchanges with a routing key. An AMQP exchange is a message gateway for AMQP messages and it's the AMQP exchange that routes the message to an AMQP queue based on the routing key sent with the message. Now, I've got the Layer 7 Gateway Policy Manager open to show how to route a message directly to an AMQP exchange. I've also got a web browser open to a manager on an AMQP server, in this case RabbitMQ. I'm using its web manager client to show the activity on the server as we progress. First, I'm going to check to ensure the gateway is set up with the exchange I want to send messages to, which I've named Demo Exchange. As you can see, we have our exchange named Demo Exchange, and we have it set to outbound. And you'll also notice that we're not using any credentials or encryption for this particular connection. The Layer 7 AMQP implementation fully supports credentials and SSL encryption for AMQP message routing. In our outbound options, we have our exchange name set to demo.exchange which is already set up in the AMQP server. We save and we close. Now I'm going to open a policy I created previously and you'll see on line 2 it sets a context variable to contain a greeting message that we'll be able to see later. I've also got an assertion that will output a message to the web browser on line 4. But the workhorse of this policy is line 3 which provides the ability to take the message in the variable and send it as an AMQP message. In the route via AMQP properties, you can see the AMQP destination is set to the demo exchange setting we just looked at in AMQP destinations. The routing key is set to demo.key. This tells the exchange to route any messages with this routing key to the queue that is configured with this routing key. It's possible for a single exchange to have multiple queues enabled, each with its own routing key. As I have already previously set up the exchange and queue with this routing key, we can continue. The message source I have set to the greeting variable defined in line 2. This will allow the gateway to create an AMQP message from the context variable. I'll close the properties and save the policy. In my web browser showing the RabbitMQ manager, it still indicates there are no messages in the demo queue, which is what we want. Now I'm going to jump to a new tab, and the URL of the service that contains the route via AMQP assertion settings I just verified is entered here. We press enter, and there we go. The page indicates the message has been sent to the AMQP exchange. Now if we go back to the RabbitMQ Manager tab, it now displays there is one message in the queue. What you've seen so far is this gateway sending messages to AMQP exchanges, which is one half of the implementation. The gateway can retrieve messages from AMQP queues with optional security and process those messages. This is a simple policy I've created that simply displays the message received from the AMQP server. In this case, the message will be displayed in the SSG audit log. In the AMQP destinations, I'm going to verify the settings for receiving messages from an AMQP queue. We've set the destination name as demo queue, and we've got it as an inbound destination, and we're not using SSL or credentials for this example. We're telling the gateway to get the messages from demo.queue. You'll notice it matches the queue that we've set up in RabbitMQ previously. I've also configured the associate queue with publish service option. This allows the gateway to run a service for each message received from the AMQP queue. At the moment, I've told the gateway to not listen to this queue, and if I uncheck this and then click save, you'll see the message that was in the queue is now gone. In this case, the gateway has retrieved it. So when we bring up the audit log, we will see the audit log entry that contains our message. If we click on it and go to the associated logs, there is the message. Now if we go back to the web browser and refresh the message sending page, 
you will see in the audit log window additional messages start coming into the gateway. This demonstrates the entire process. The AMQP message is being generated by the gateway and sent to the AMQP exchange. The exchange looks at the message in the included routing key and routes it to the queue that matches the routing key. The queue then sends the message to the gateway and the gateway runs the service policy I previously defined, which displays the AMQP message in the audit log. The Layer 7 Secure Span Gateway integrates with configured AMQP infrastructure seamlessly and provides optional authentication and transport security for sending and receiving of messages. It adds additional flexibility to your services toolbox. Thank you for your interest in the Secure Span Gateway and its support for AMQP. You can find more information on Layer 7 and its products on the web at www.layer7tech.com. We are also available by email at sales at layer7.com.